do 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 you know what I mean? Maybe if if, if uh, we'd have done them off other things, they might have been corny. But I think the combination of the the rarity of of the song of the of the tune that we use and with a beat underneath it was unparalleled, man. That's why to this day, man, cats is like them cold crush tapes is like mints. That's mint, baby. You got a cold crush tape, you good. You can battle. You can battle with that, and a lot of cats did. I mean, nigga walking down the street with his box, and oh. another dude coming down with another box. Yo, what you got in there, B? Yeah, I got a little Jazzy Five joint, you know, from from Spark from the starter. Yeah, I got a Cold Crush joint in here from from Ecstasy Garage. What's up? Oh. What you want? You want to battle? <laughs> and they would actually play the tape from their favorite yeah. piano, and niggas niggas be like battling and winning, winning with them Cold Crush tapes. <laughs> With the creative concept from uh, a lot of the writing, the routines, a lot of people naturally assume, well, maybe it's Kaz or, or something like that. Like, well, no, 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 it's Kaz and L, whatever. Like, who was like the driving force? Like, how did, how was the creative process? Y'all sit there, like, you pull, like, did you pull, you know what I'm saying, the joints out of the crazy? Like, yo, look, this got to go with that. Or did y'all listen to the music or how did that work? Well, basically, I was the writer for the group and, and, and the, you know, the brains of the operation. We would collaborate at times and just mess around. And, and I'm the type of cat, like, you give me this much, mm. and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'll make it this much. Mm. You know what I mean, just give me a little bit. Give me a, ty a concept, a, a direction to point me, and I'll fill in the whole blanks. You know what I mean? So some, some of our stuff was done like that. But for the most part, I wrote mostly all our routines and all our stuff, even other people's shit, because I'm the writer. And I'm a DJ, so so you know what I mean. I'm I got that mentality also, so I can reach back. I know what records go with what. I know I don't need a DJ to tell me what. I tell the DJ, you know. I told our DJ, look, use use love rap for this. Bring it in on this and this and that. And then when we do the other routines, the, the slower do do rocking in the pocket with those this and that. We're gonna use this for such and such. We planet rock numbers. I mean, all of anything, fast, slow, whatever. We got some shit for it, B. And I wrote mostly all that shit, Ninety, like 98% of our stuff. Y'all was the first motherfuckers I know to straight up rock numbers. It's like certain songs like motherfuckers just wouldn't touch. Hip hop, real hip hop was, you had to, you had to be able to fuck with certain records. There this, this shouldn't be, the rule was, you have to be able to have a rhyme for any record, every record, every street beat, every all speed record. Numbers, you had to be able to, that's some shit you just, that's some off-speed shit, but only if you have skills, you could rock that, and y'all was the first and only motherfuckers that rock numbers. Well, see, numbers was like Trans-Europe Express, man, it was like, you just listen to that shit, B. like Trans-Europe Express, which is on the other side of numbers, you know what I mean, like on a, on a single, um, it was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I mean, you couldn't rhyme to that. It was like you just, and the changes that, that happened all during the song, just a song you just throw on. But numbers got a beat to it. Boom, that boom, that boom, that boom. So right there, there's rhythm to that. You can, there's so many rhythms that you can put, but they're not the traditional rhyming rhythms like, the, you know, regular beats. This is like an up-tempo, like fast joints. So you got to get something, you know, that, a melody that flows with it. You know what I mean? So... A lot of joints came to my mind with that, you know what I mean? Uh, the Walk Right In routine, which is like an old white boy song, you know, from the radio. It's like, walk right in, sit right down, baby, let your mind roll. On. You're like, okay, why the fuck would you? But when it go, walk right in, sit right down. Take off your shoes, relax your feet, and sniff your blow, and rap to a hoe, and listen to the cold crush beat. Then, you know what I mean? Then it's different. It's like, oh! It's 
why they call me the beast. Lash out, spaz out. Show pain to bring all of the heat. Calm down, nigga, show some relief. It's only if he growing up and she sold some relief. These motherfuckers got dicks for brains and ass for hearts. My name in the loop. Nigga, you can ask the knocks. Jason Brown got him shook up after dark. Bullets and whiz past his door just as fast as darts. Pull fast, you the last to spark. I'm in the Aston car. Punk me like Ashton, no. Niggas write rhymes at 04. Spit them to 05. I wrote rhymes at 06. Ain't spit them to 09. Pedal to the metal, you other niggas just slow grind. Even though that's better than no grind. Around the corners for the cheese. A block over's the coke line. Keep this up with finished birds in no time. Mag a back, flip him like I hit him with a clothesline. These young punks. These niggas is exactly what we find in dump trucks. Barely alive and fucked up. Damn near purple with his eyes all fluffed up. Homie must have played with the mob. Lambo's yellow like corn on the cob. Forever gotta go kill them all, don't solve. Pop tags every day, I did it all with no job. Nigga, daddy had paper. Mommy did too, leeching off them, that's something I couldn't do. I wasn't by myself, I ran with a little crew. We clicked up, yeah, we something like you. So, we just like you, yeah, except we straight thugging, nigga. Yeah, I lost a couple, but nah, I ain't nothing. I came right back with a motherfucking bat. I swung like crack and left his head like splat in the trap, nigga. This is where it all began. I got on the Grandmaster Cast t-shirt right now. Woo! This is a dude that make me take it serious. <laughs> Money always complicates things, and especially when business comes into play. When Tough City came down, came into play, it was like, okay, now y'all dropped the joint. So now I landed on the line, okay, we're talking about mechanicals, we're talking about publishing, we're talking about shit happening, and like you said, cash shit is looking healthy, you know, my shit is looking a little anorexic. So it's like, okay, cool, but it gets to a point where maybe it might fuck with your ego, or might fuck with, you know, whatever, and sometimes people will be... It's only human. It's psychological. Yeah, yeah and this is, did that. You know, this is where this is. You, you're absolutely right about that. And I mean, how would you feel? You part of a successful group. You part of a group that everybody looks up to and admires and stuff. And and but the general consensus are uh, Kaz. It wasn't for Kaz. You know this and that. Kaz write all they shit. Kaz this and that. Kaz is the one. When niggas try to battle us, they they they'll fuck with everybody but me. You know yeah. what I mean? And talk shit about everybody, whatever. Y'all niggas is bums. Y'all niggas ain't this. Y'all niggas this and that. Whether for cash, y'all niggas, you know what I mean? So hell yeah, that's gonna play on you after years. And and then knowing that, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm your dude. I'm your captain. You know what I mean? I'm the one. I took you to the fucking promised land. Fuck what these niggas are saying and all that. Is we the Cold Crush Four is the ones that's in the history books. Okay, so whatever, you know. Props I get as Kaz or whatever, you know what I get? I, I got that coming. I got that coming. Y'all know that I'm one of the greatest motherfuckers to do this. Y'all been down with me. Y'all sat back and said, okay, let Kaz do it. Kaz is the writer. Kaz is the one. So when, when it comes down for Kaz to get compensated for all that, this shit, there shouldn't be no problem at all. If you had an issue with Kaz getting all the attention, you should have did more. You know what I mean? Could a motherfucker do more? Wasn't allowed? No, it's not that it wasn't allowed. A lot of times, like hey, it's just a question. I'm like, yeah, let's okay, let's say if L was like, yo, I, no, no, if if, if if K say, yo, I got something, man, yo, you always want to roll with your shit. I got something now. Okay. This shit is hot. This is better than fuck. Get up, you know, fuck. Get on up. This shit, is, this shit, will blow that shit out of the water. Fuck with this. Well, what well, that happened on a couple of occasions, uh. a couple of times. <laughs> but you know what came out of it? What? Punk rock rap. <laughs> okay. That wasn't my joint. I right? I wrote it, but but somebody said, "Yo, let's do a joint." They go, "Pull rap, 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 rap." Oh. I'm like, wow. "Yeah, I." Right. I was like, "All right." <laughs> you know, because it was like somebody else's suggestion. It's like the reason why I wrote mostly everything is because people wasn't coming up with nothing. You know what I mean? Or I was always just the rewriter. That's what I did. So I, oh, I came up with a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. Now, when, when JDL gave me a suggestion, I would run with it if it made sense. Or if I could do something with it, I would run with it. When KG made a suggestion, he made a lot of suggestions. Some good, some bad. Mm -hmm. The ones that were good, we kept and we incorporated. The ones that, that didn't, you know. But punk rock rap wasn't mine. Let's, let's, let me just... <laughs> all right.